Hello there. So, I was going to do some work tonight, but I got visited by an NHK fee collector. And he told me that in Japan it is required by the law. If you own a TV, you have to pay the fee. I was like, what? Am I being scammed? But, but the guy got a name tag and everything, so I just told him, okay, I don't have a TV. Because YouTube. Uh, so he left. And he go went on asking someone else in the building. When he left, I started asking my friends and googling the internet. And damn, apparently people really hate those NHK fee collectors. So here's what I learned and what I want to share with you on what's happening. So NHK is like BBC. In fact, they're English. Initials are JBC, so Japan Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, and yes, the whole law thing is real. You need to pay them if you have a TV, no matter you watch it or not. That's right. There's no option for you to turn it off, which, by the way, it also means even if you never pay, they cannot turn it off because they can't. Apparently, it's just it's, it's a hardware problem. And they are not allowed to enter your home, like, even with your permission, I asked him, do you want to come in to do the talk? Because I, was, I, I didn't know what was happening. So apparently there's no way for them to know whether you actually own a TV or not, except from your own admission. And that's all the facts I have. If you're here for the facts, you can stop watching right here, because from here is all my opinion. Uh, it's massively confusing for me at first because that's not how that's just not how it works in China. If you don't pay, you don't get TV. Same as in Canada, except it's so fucking expensive in Canada. I bought a TV for my Xbox just to play games on it. <laughs> Never bother with the cable. And in Japan, it's like thirteen dollars per month. But look, say I want to do the same thing play games on my TV without using it to watch TV. I have to pay that monthly fee, pay that certain dollars per month, which kind of adds up. And uh, I'm not here to advocate for cheating the system, but damn, this, the system is just unfair and stupid. The system should change. If you're going to charge people for TV, charge those who actually want it. I don't want to pay to f watch your stupid content. That's gonna be full of ads, and it's not even interesting, because all of the interesting stuff had to be watched at a specific date, a specific time in front of the TV. And I mean, certain dollars you can get two Netflix account, two. But with all that said, let me say something that you might not want to hear. If you live in Japan, you watch TV, pay the damn money, you owe them that. <laughs> and remember when I said, here, that, that's all the facts I have? Well, I lied. Those are the simple facts. Here are some additional facts for you, because truth resists simplicity. And the reason NHK asks you for money is because, unlike other TV stations, NHK is not permitted to run commercial ads because they are supposed to be politically neutral. And how can you be politically neutral if you get shit ton of money or outright owned by a corporation? Right? YouTube was playing ads for the Dakota Access Pipeline on how it's gonna create a bunch of jobs. Uh, stuff, just saying. And there's a lot of problems surrounding the NHK, like their employees are paid much better salary. And compared to a lot of other jobs in Japan, I'm talking about an average salary of about 10 grand per month, which is partially funded by taxpayer dollars. The point is, I have some schoolworks, and I really need to get to if I don't want to fail courses. So let me just cut to the chase here. There's a lot of problems with NHK, which we could discuss all day, and I really like to, but again, school and graduating is 
okay? <laughs> and you might agree or disagree with using taxpayers' money to fund a politically neutral media, depending on whether you're a communist or a libertarian or anything in between. But don't take it out on the fee collectors because they are not NHK employees. They do not earn that 10 grand per month. They are delegates from some other companies. That's what they say on their name card. And they are probably just regular people like us, like you. And they got into the job into a job that they probably hate as much as you do. And they've got their life to handle. And if they're gonna say anything like, oh but I heard they are so mean, well what about people who are mean to them? I mean they are just being compared with Jehovah's Witnesses at this time, like, literally. And just imagine the treatment they get. And since we are on this topic, please stop being jerks to the witnesses knocking on the doors, be nice to them, and perhaps slip them some materials from jwfacts.com if you want to help. And links in the descriptions. And when I was googling this, I found a lot of people on the internet going like, oh they should get money from some other way, there's no punishment if you lie to them. They aren't even justified in collecting money for a service you never asked to join in the first place. But let's be real here. You're looking for ways to feel better for not paying that money. And that's not your fault. We are naturally predisposed to do that. You can go look up some psychology if you're interested in the details. The point is, don't be embarrassed or double down or just okay those are good arguments for changing the system so go pay that damn fee and if if you're supposed to i'm not supposed to i don't have a tv and go change the system and that's exactly what i would like you to help me to do here if you find the information provided in this video helpful, please consider sharing it with your friends. And especially to those who are Japanese, who are in Japan, who are going to be in Japan because they might be able to then relay the information to someone who is Japanese who can vote. Right? If you have any comments or if I made any mistakes, if your comment, I'll read them and give you a response. And this is it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.